everyone, welcome back. Vlog 11. So uh, this time I got something a little bit different. We had uh, lighttake.com get a hold of us and they sent us a little mini drone kind of thing. A little FPV real time Wi Fi SEMA kind of quadcopter. So uh, it's kind of neat. It's got some some features on the back there, like uh, you can do some zigzags. It's got hovering position for you, like hover hold, flight plan, uh, app control, and it can do flips. What I'm most interested in in this thing is the uh, I guess it's got automatic takeoff, which is kind of cool. I never really, you know, used that feature on any drone before, so that's kind of interesting. I'm curious to try that out, how good it'll work. Uh, I've seen a few videos online now, and they all seem pretty fun. This thing seems pretty cool. So I'll give you my opinion of it, though, because it's, uh, I don't know, I've been flying drones and such for, for a little while now. If you've seen my other channel, you know I'm like not a pro by any means, but I can I I land them, bring them back safely, so that's good. Uh, so this should be a lot of fun. Uh, what I consider this kind of quadcopter to be like an entry level uh, quadcopter. If somebody's looking to get an FPV cam, it uses Wi-Fi. So typically, Wi-Fi broadcasting is not, you know, the latency is delayed. Like you're not gonna get. Uh, flying in between trees and stuff with this because you'll end up in the tree. You know, you just need uh, a, a faster camera per se for actual FPV. This this will definitely get you going and get you see if you're interested for under a hundred dollars US, which is really cool. And um, but yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what's in the box. I actually have opened it up, so this is the empty portion. Let's take a look. Inside, you get the user manual. Lots of really good information in here, being that there is different ways to start this thing, to initialize it to begin with, to pair it. Uh, so definitely take a look through the manual. There's lots of reading. Read it before you open it up. Uh, let me pop the lid off. You can see here, there's the little micro quad freaking shiny, eh? This thing is gleaming. So let's pull it out. There it is. Pretty cool. It's very light. It's lighter than what uh, what I expected, that's for sure. And there's the little hole where the camera will attach comes with a proprietary camera, its own little camera. Uh, so there's the little drone. Uh, let's see what else. There comes a bag in here. Inside the bag is a uh, the blade savers, I guess you can call them, the blade guards. That might be handy to use too. They don't feel like they add that much weight to the thing, so we'll throw those on. And then, uh, like I mentioned, the charging port is in there. Uh, it was in there already, and I I labeled it. That's the green on there. They don't really come with that green tape on there. I labeled it already because I've got a ton of USB charging style plugs, and they come with a little screwdriver to get into the battery compartment into the radio. And in this bag also comes a little USB card reader so you can upload your footage. Uh, also in there was a bunch of spare props for when and if you do crash and take out the props. And over on this side we have the little camera. out and on. Oh, there's a 
It says here 4 gigabyte H on it, whatever the H stands for, I'm not sure. But uh, there's a memory card in the camera already, so that's pretty cool. That's good. You can get it right to use. Let's just plug this little guy in. So you're supposed to just, uh, I read the instructions, you just put it on and twist. Oops. I think I had that plugged in there, right? If at all. Is that in there? Are you in there? Okay, let's see. Turn it this way. Get this darn cable down there. there. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, let's get over on this side here. Let's go that way. We want to. We want to kind of have the camera facing forward, right? Now the battery is the back of it. There we go. That's attached. Great. All right. Let's get this controller out, aka the radio. Comes. Uh, look at that. It's it's pretty shiny too. It's got some shiny features. It's got the buttons on top, uh, one is for taking the photos, one's for shooting the video, uh, the other side is for launching, and then the back one, like the bottom one, is for uh, doing the flip. You uh, you hold the button, you do the flip, you, you, you turn your joystick, and you're going to flip whichever direction your joystick is going. To initialize the, the quadcopter, I think you just got to hold them in to the center and then it'll initialize or you can do it up, down, it initializes and then you can hold it uh, up for a few seconds and then starts it or what I want to do, what I'm excited to try is the uh, the auto launch. So you just simply click the button and it auto launches. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to try that. I'm not going to try it here in the uh, four mobs studio. That's my dining room. So I'm not going to try it inside first. I want to try this thing outside because uh, the battery doesn't last super, super long. Uh, and I want to be able to try all the features. It's all going to be included in this video next. So let me just actually, there's a little clip on the back of the radio. That little piece comes out. And then this little clip goes in here, which is actually the clip for holding your cell phone. Because there's an app that goes with this little guy. Alright, I you can't see it down there. Let me just. Let's fire it up and see what's going to happen here. May as well. Let's just flip this thing over. Alright. Oh, you can see that, right? Alright. So, oh, Jesus. Okay. It's alright. What you want to do? You probably don't want to be starting this right near your face if you're unfamiliar with scary scare factor or anything like that. Uh, you definitely want to be safe from this. It has big warnings on here. Do not fly with broken or damaged rotors. May cause damage or lead to injury. And you do not want to get injured by your little quadcopter. So anyways, here we go. Uh, this thing here you turn on. Like that. And this one you turn on. And they're both blinking. Then to bind the two you go up, down, it's gonna flash and now it's bound. So uh, you can initialize it by holding the joysticks in. I don't think it'll fly away on me so let's just, actually let's initialize it by the, the first way first. Let's go up for a few seconds. There we go. 
you had to let it come back down before it initialized. But like I said, I don't want to fly right now. Tool that is working. Just turn it off. You just hold this thing down. Yeah, so I had to let it drop down there at the initialize to, to get it going. But as I mentioned, I don't want to fly it at home. I want to get out to the field to show you guys exactly how this is going to work. But first things first, let's check out if the app works. So we've got the drone going. Let's just put the phone right in this little pad here. Let's see how that holds that. And uh, we have to we have to actually connect it to the Wi-Fi first. So let's go to the Wi-Fi. And it's going to show you the FPV Wi-Fi. You want to click on that. Connect. And once it's connected, you're good to go. It's connected right there. So now I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to go to the, the SEMA app. Because there's like, you go to their site and they've got this excellent little app that you just download like that. And, uh, Click start. And, you know, let's turn this. And you can see we got video transmission. What up? What up dog? So uh, you can you can do a bunch from there. You can even control the the unit from here. Um, you can take the pictures, do the videos, there's a file save. Uh, all that sort of stuff you can do right from there. Um, woo, that's cool. Stay tuned, we're going to go outside next with it. Alright, so here we are at the park, checking out the SEMA. We're going to... What they say is they turn this thing on. Turn this thing on. I don't know if you can see that very well. And let's go to the Wi Fi. Gotta go to the Wi Fi. Look for it over here. Trying to find it, maybe it's scanning. There it is, it's obtaining. It's doing its thing. It's connected, okay. Alright, let's go to the app. I don't know if you can see that very good. But uh, it's a little bit breezy. I'm gonna hit start. My uh, my main goal with this one was I wanted to really use the uh, auto launch feature. So let's go with the uh, auto launch feature and see how this works. Let's hit the camera, so it should be recording. What up? We'll get on in there. All right. I don't know if you saw that, but here we go. Let's auto launch it. Quick snip. Oh, I have to arm it first. Don't forget, you got to arm it first. You go up and then down. Now let's. Click the button for the auto launch and see where it takes it. I'm not doing anything. It's just doing all by itself. Alright, that's cool. That's alright. A couple feet. Really uh, seems nice. Let's take it for a little flight. 
It's on slow mode right now. Handles nice. It's docile, so anybody just getting into drones, get a little close up there. Yeah, it's pretty docile. What you can do is uh, you tap the button once, and now it's in uh, more of an angle mode. Oh yeah, look at that sucker take off. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's bring it back again. Let's try uh, auto landing from up here. Just gonna click the button once. Actually, let's get it over away from the tree a bit. Click it. All right, all right. Let's end the video. Let's. Uh, you can you can start it another way too. You just hold it up for a second, and it should. Oh yeah, hold it up and then you let it down and then it's good. Now it's started again. Oh, this is nice. This is really cool. Here, let me do a little walk around. And it stays in the mode that you left it in. So that's still in that angle mode. That's cool. Let's take it up and take a photo. I wouldn't go too high with this sort of thing, but let's get up, take a photo. Birds love these things. Let's see if we can get a picture of him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's stoked. Oh, this guy's gonna get it. Oh yeah, that's funny. Anyways, look at these guys. They love this stuff. So let's bring her back over. Yeah, these things, it, it handles good. Handles quite nice. Let's bring her down again. Look at that. That's nice and stable. Has the head locking mode, so you take your hand off and it'll stay at that height. That seems to be cool. That's cool. There we are again. Let's do another, let's get a little. Drony. Let's get a drony. Let's get us land up. There we go. Alright, let's go for another fly through the field here. Really nice. It handles really good. This thing is quite solid. Look at that. That's cool. Well, I'm gonna try the auto land feature again here. Auto land. Man, that's the reason I wanted to check this out. Look at that. Really cool. Really cool. <laughs> All right, well, I just lost my hat there, but this system is a blast. It did everything that I expected, everything that I did the input on, took a picture, looked like it took a video there. Uh, really solid, like you saw it there hover right by my head. It was solid. So, uh, I don't know, I'll do a little conclusion back at home, but I, this thing's a blast. I can't wait to see the footage. Oh, I just took another picture. <laughs> Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see you back at home.
All right, welcome back. Well, this thing is definitely cool. Uh, we had it out at the park. You saw the video that I just played. Flies really stable. Um, you'll probably want to buy an extra battery when you get it. Uh, I think the battery lasts under 10 minutes, so it will be quite short if you're taking it out for a day. It does plug into USB, so if you have one of those portable charging batteries, you can charge it on site, no problem. Uh, it takes a few minutes to charge, but really, really fun uh, quadcopter. As you saw in the video, everything performed exactly how I wanted. The only thing that I did not get into was the uh, flight track operation interface. And it's when you use the controller to actually fly the drone, or your, sorry, not the controller, but rather your cell phone to fly the, the drone. I didn't get into that. I'm not sure if it was on the SEMA GO app or if it was just one of the buttons I didn't click, like the interface button. But anyway, I, I didn't play with it, but I'm sure it's there and I'm sure it works really good. Uh, what else can I say about this guy? Flew great, landed great, took off great. Um, really good value. I think it's under $100 US at lighttake.com. They're the ones that sent me this cool thing to check out. Uh, please do check them out. They've got a bunch of different products on there, not just the drones and stuff. They have like household stuff and some really weird stuff too. So have fun on that site. Check it out. Uh, I want to thank them and I want to thank you guys. So what I want to do is give this thing away. You know, they sent it to me and it's really fun. I have bigger drones. I don't necessarily, like I do want to keep it, to be honest with you, I want to keep it. It's a nice one. It handles really good. I was flying it inside yesterday and it was really fun. So if anyone is thinking about just flying inside with it, no problem at all. The SEMA X5 UW would be a good choice. So anyways, as mentioned, I want to give it away. So if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll go through the comments and I'll use one of those internet random number generators. Click BAM! That big thumbs up if uh, you enjoy this kind of review. It's been something a little bit different for the channel. I realize it's not a scale truck or anything, but uh, guess what? It's RC and I love it. So, thanks again. We'll talk to you soon and uh, have a great night.